Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If the AC blows hot warm air and you want to see guys what causes that, how to fix it. In some cases your AC may be perfectly fine, but still blows hot air. Stay with us guys, we'll explain what it is that we don't waste money on parts you don't need. We'll explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays, the good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix anything like engines transmission codes fuses bodywork all that stuff why we do all that because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video on this channel guys specifically we will be making a video about every single fuse every single relay on that dodge ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere your fuel pump fuse goes bad all we have to do find our video watch it for a minute or two replace that fuse you're back on the road so we do that guys to help you as much as we can also we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so let's start on it now so guys if the ac blows hot warm air what can easily cause that first we need to check some fuses then we'll explain what else can cause that let's go ahead and open the hood on that dodge ram right here if we zoom in guys that's your car battery in front of it you have the main engine fuse box here you have a couple tabs press them at the same time lift that cover underneath you will find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. Here guys, what we need to check specifically. Now, we need to check for fuses, let's zoom in. Please guys, make sure you stay until the end, we want to give you one quick advice, that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. The first fuse that you need to check is fuse number 13, right here. You may have another fuse for some more uh, uh, loaded trucks that have different climate control systems, fuse number 31. Then you need to check the main AC fuses, which is guys fuse number uh, 62. You will need to check, that's 57, 8, 9, 61, 62 right here. And then you need to check fuse number 99. If those fuses are good, you don't have relays for the AC compressor guys, but what you will need to check. Now, first thing, okay, okay, connect guys, okay, connect the charger and see if you have pressure in the system. If you want to see how to recharge the system, if you can use R134A instead of R1234YF, we have videos on our YouTube channels. But if you don't have any pressure in the system, that means you have a leak. That leak, guys, okay, can be caused by multiple things, like leaking compressor, hose, condenser, evaporator, multiple things. If you have pressure, but it still doesn't work. Let me show you what else can cause that. It could be guys bad AC clutch. So the AC clutch practically engages the AC compressor. If you want to see how to test or how to replace AC clutch, it's not complicated. We have videos on our YouTube channels. Another thing, it could be bad AC compressor. Okay, we have a video how to rebuild compressor, how to replace one as well. But quite often we see not being a bad AC compressor, but having a bad AC uh, compressor 
pressure solenoid. That solenoid, practically, if it's bad, your AC will quit working as well. And those are not expensive, they're easy to replace, easy to test, so it could be super simple fix. The other things that can cause the AC not to work, guys, okay, it could be. Uh, even a radiator fan not working. If the fan doesn't work, the AC will not work because the engine computer will do everything possible uh, to prevent the engine from overheating. So radiator fan, if it doesn't work, could be caused by bad radiator fan relay or bad radiator fan fuse. We have special videos about that on our YouTube channel where you can find it. Other things, guys, okay. It could be AC pressure switch. That's the device on the high pressure AC line that detects if you have enough pressure in the system to safely activate the compressor. If you want to see how to test AC pressure switch, we have multiple videos again how to do that. Next guys, that you need to check. Okay, if all that seems fine, your AC may be working perfectly fine. But guys, you need to check your belt, right? First, we probably need to start with that serpentine belt. If it fell off, fell's broken, AC will not run because the belt will not spin the compressor. Then you have that device, guys. That device, you may have one or two, depending on whether you have single or two climate control, that's known as a blend door actuator. It attaches to a flap that regulates the temperature from hot to cold. On the inside, you have multiple plastic gears and a motor. Usually they crack, skip, or the motor burns, and the flap might be stuck in hot position. At that point, your AC may blow hot air, even though everything works perfectly fine, it's just stuck in hot position. Those are some of the most common things that we see here at the garage, and those will be the first things that we will usually guys check if Dodge Ram AC blows hot air. So guys, you have all kinds of different fuses and relays. Some of those are very specific, they're hard to find, especially if you're in a small town or in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't find one, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere for a few days until we got a shipment on the internet, guys. So keep some spares in your glove box for peace of mind. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.